Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel, The Bengals Genius Show. Bengals Genius, brother! All right, playing the Ravens. The game's going to start in just a little three and a half hours. Huge game today. We got to beat these stinky Ravens. Last week, we did not look good. We looked horrible. But, of course, that was our preseason game. This is our week one right here. A.J. Green's going to be the ruler of the jungle. I love that. He's an absolute bangle. Stood. Remember, he used to torch the Ravens all the time. Uh, I wonder if he's going to make the Hall of Fame. There's a strong argument that could be made for him. He definitely was the best wide receiver in the game for a little while. And I, I think he deserves it. The problem is he's quiet. I'm saying from the perspective, you don't hear anything about A.J. Green all the time, but man, he would light the Ravens up. So I'm excited to see him back in the natty. But is Joe Burrow 100%? That is my main concern of this week. Last week, I could tell the fact that he didn't run at all. I mean, he had some wide open windows. And if you think about it, you know, your calf, you know, everything with your throwing is the legs. That's the most important part. You know, I mean, it's an important part. So making sure you got the right stance and everything and definitely would explain the inaccuracy last week. And of course, none of the guys playing together, no cohesion. They have some dudes that are out. They're secondary. They got Marlon Humphreys out. Uh, Marcus Williams, their safety. Two offensive linemen are out. Linderbaum, the center, and Ronnie Stanley. I thought the defense didn't do that bad last week for the Bengals. They were on the field for so long because the offense couldn't move the ball that it looked worse than it was, but the defense knows how to play Lamar Jackson. That's going to be interesting. Wait for that Odell Beckham tantrum on the sidelines because it's coming. It's absolutely coming. He will throw a fit when Lamar is throwing them balls into the ground and one skipping them because Lamar can't throw. I'm still telling you, amazing athlete, very fast, very fast runner, very fast. Get to the ball, get to the ball. So, it's just, he's going to be skipping them and all that, but we still remember him uh, spinning our boy around. What was that linebacker's name? The guy, uh, I am forget his name, Nick Vigil. Ooh, Nick Viral, when he went spun around against Lamar Jackson. Ugh, I can't stand that. But they do have their tight end back today. Mark Andrews, and that guy, he is a load to deal with. So we know what Baltimore's going to try to do. They're going to try to keep the ball away and ground and pound. So honestly, if we get the opportunity today, I'd like to take the ball first because if we can score first, changes everything. All I need is one touchdown, and they're out of whack because they're running and running the wishbone and all that stuff. So... He struggled. Lamar Jackson struggled big time last week. And they got a new Todd Munkin as their offensive coordinator. I don't think it's a good fit for Lamar. So we'll see. I'm not betting on this game yet. It's not a smart bet. The spread's three and a half. The Bengals are giving up three and a half. Uh, the problem is we don't know if Joe's healthy yet, 100%. So until I see that, he did get his hair slicked back. He's trim and clean. So he's looking sharp, and I know that seems dumb, but feel good, play good. That's what I say. So it's going to be great. One o'clock. Let's go Bengals. I predict the score to be 20 to 17. If you are going to bet today, I kind of like taking Jacksonville plus three and a half over the Chiefs over there in Jacksonville. I know they're getting their two guys back, Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey, but Jacksonville's very underrated. It's crazy what happened to old Aaron Rodgers, and that's rough. Bengal fans, you can identify. Remember that when Kajana Carter went down in the preseason back in 1995? Oh, for all you young little whippersnappers. Kajana Carter was the number one overall pick in the draft, and Bengal fans were fired up. We had Shake and Blake and Carl Pickens and Darnay Scott, and all we needed was a running back, and we took one number one overall in the draft. We're all fired up. He held out, and then... Finally, he's going to play at the Pontiac Silverdome. Third carry. Boop. Blew his knee out. And that was it. That was it. End of the season. So, I have straight up empathy for you Jet fans. Nothing nothing good to say about that. But it is in the AFC. So, selfishly, with Aaron Rodgers out, it makes it a little 
a little easier for the Bengals because I really thought they were going to be the uh, the team to beat in, in in the AFC besides the Bengals. I think you can totally see the Chiefs falling off. They epitomize that fat, content team that's just the champs. I mean, they're the champions. Guys are getting older. I didn't know how old Travis Kelsey was. God almighty, that guy's almost 34 years old. He's, he's a grandpa. So there he's, and Mahomes is married, and they're just done. Chiefs are done. So forget about them Chiefs. I'm not even worried about them anymore. Dolphins, Tua, it'll be interesting to see if he can stay healthy the rest of the season. Chargers, they got the worst coach in the NFL, in my opinion. That guy just makes stupid decisions over and over and over. Balt, uh, Buffalo, it looks like Josh Allen has fell off. It looks to me like Lou Anarumo exposed him, and he just is a big knucklehead. He's got to throw that bomb. He's obsessed with it. He's turning the ball over left and right. The team to beat is going to be the 49ers. The fact that they're paying the janitor more than they're paying Brock Purdy is a huge benefit, and those guys are loaded, man. They got Christian McCaffrey, Mike Williams, Bosa, Debo Samuels, Greg Kittles. I mean, they're just loaded. They are loaded, and they're paying that guy Brock Purdy nothing, and he's really good. I was, I was like, yeah, we'll see what he does. He had another great game last week. They spanked the Steelers, Heinies. Talked to a Steeler fan this week, and they know that that guy is a bum. Their quarterback sucks. So back to the Baltimore Ravens win this game, and things are going to be looking tight and right. Cleveland will lose to Pittsburgh on Monday, since they always do. So it's all in our court. So let's go, Bengals. Welcome back, A.J. Green. And let's go get this dubby. Ah, cup of joe in the morning. All right. Let's go, Bengals. Let's go dominate these brat birds. Who day? Feel this. Run it up. Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel. The Bengals Genius Show.